Hi, this is Chris with Destination Art, and today I'm doing this little painting of a garden fence. And um, in all honesty, I stole this picture from something online that I thought was pretty, I think. Or it was a calendar or something. I took a picture of it, and it was on my camera, so I have no idea what the source material is. None. So I um, sketched out where the major elements are. I sketched out where the fence was going to be and where the tree trunk was going to be in the background. And one of the challenges with this painting is there, um, it's trying to simplify the scene. There's a um, table and chairs under the back tree, which would have been awesome to put in, but um, I just couldn't figure out how I was going to do that. So I tried to simplify, which is one of the things that I'm trying to learn how to do <laughs> with watercolor. And I'm giggling because I want to learn to paint kind of light and airy and take advantage of the paper and really get the watercolor feel and I overpainted this one. So I cut out a lot of the stuff because it's basically just a green blotchy painting at this point. So anyway, I was trying to simplify where the shapes were. So light shapes and what they looked like, dark shapes and what they looked like. Um, so there wasn't a lot of detail but yet there was um, you could tell what was actually going on so anyway um, yeah so that's what I'm working on trying to simplify trying to lighten things up but once again I overpainted this like I that's my style I just that's just how I paint and I don't <laughs> I yeah I would like to change, I would like to learn new skills. I would like to grow as an artist and to get stuff better. Okay, so I had let that dry a little bit and now I'm going in with some of the darker areas because I did think this, this picture was quite stunning because of the way um, the shadows were in the tree in the back. And so that was one of the things that I thought was very interesting. And so when you're laying in dark washes like this, it's, you I have to have, you know, you have to have some variation. You just can't put it all in there. And I was using a really small brush, um, which I suppose a larger brush might have helped. But in the foreground, there's these bushes with these pink flowers, and then there's the garden fence, and then there's some uh, ground, and then there's the background with lots of trees, and under the tree is the table and chairs. I didn't actually have a cat bothering me during this painting, although this morning when I let it dry, I had sort of propped it up a little bit, and there was a cat. I, I, I thought he was actually licking the wet paint off the paper because of the way he was sitting in front of it. So Anyway, so still adding darks to different areas. I tried to find the reference photo on my phone, and I couldn't find it, so I snapped a picture of the physical picture that I had. I do that um, groove book thing and I print off pictures um, from my phone because I take a lot of reference photos for paintings. So and like it's $3.99 a month and you get a hundred pictures or something like that. So anyway, all right, still bouncing around with um, some darker greens and just trying to figure out where to put the different values I've been studying trees lately, and did you know that you typically see the trunks of the trees in the darker areas, not in the lighter areas? So that is something to consider when you're painting a tree. If you're going to show the trunk, it's got to be on a darker area, because that's, of course, makes sense. It's the interior of the tree, which would be more in shade, huh? <laughs> You know, it's amazing when I figure things out and it like a light bulb goes off and I'm like, hmm, that took me a long freaking time to figure that out. Anyway, so I am now taking off the mask and then going to paint, and that took a long time, hooey, uh, going to paint the fences. And so I was trying to leave uh, just a little bit of light on the edge of the fence, so that would be the interesting part. So... Um, yeah, so, and then darkening up some of the flowers again, and just making sure that they are plenty colorful with some shading as well. 
I think part of my problem is I always think watercolors should be as detailed as acrylics and it's it's really hard to make a watercolor as detailed as an acrylic. So that's why I want to, I, I, you know, I think that's maybe what I'm doing. I'm still painting like I'm painting acrylic while it, rather than painting watercolor. So um, anyway, as I go on this journey, please like and subscribe, of course, if you found this video even mildly entertaining. That'd be great. <laughs> so... All right, I think we're close to the end. Yes, I think we're getting close to the end. So I tried to leave some light on the fence posts so that it would um, be white paint. And here's the final painting. Please like and subscribe, as I said. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.